Hi everyone, Mikey79 here and welcome to this new gameplay video of Magic Duels. And today is a mixing it up video for you guys. It's been a while since I made one of those. And I've been quite busy in life, work, um, I went on vacation again, uh, other stuff going on in the house. Uh, and I've been playing Gwent uh, quite a bit. So not that much time for Magic Duels. And uh, mixing it up video goes quite fast. I just play three games with the decks that I already own and have, so I don't have to build something new. Now I will show you guys uh, at least one deck that you haven't seen yet, but this one you have seen already is the Naya build. Um, there's already a video of it, so if you're interested, check it out. And let's see. Uh, yeah, it's been quite a while. Jeez. Uh, I guess I'll keep this. We'll see what the, what it does. I don't have a. Uh, like I said, it's been a couple of weeks that I've played it actually, so I don't know how the meta evolved or anything, so we'll see. So let's open with the evolving wilds, and I guess we go fetch a mountain. And then we play the forest, so we can play the primal druid. So our opponent is playing Dimir for now. Let's fetch that mountain. And another primal druid. Alright. Let's see what our opponent does. Plays a swamp. Maybe a telling time at the end of my turn. Who knows? I would like to see a land though. Or that uh, the druid dies or something. Get a bounce spell. Now, if he only plays those colors, it's gonna be difficult to get rid of it. So, talent of the telepath. Okay, don't worry don't too much about that. So, I guess he's gonna try and build me. Now, or he plays a resurrected deck, and if so, then he can resurrect the, the reclamation sage. To blow up, he, he built some nice stuff though. To blow up uh, my flame shadow. So that would be uh, a pain. But uh, let's just play the other one. It's pretty funny, I never had three uh, on the. Yeah, let's uh, just do that. Now he doesn't die at the end of turn, but. Unfortunately. So either way, he, he plays a Resurrect deck or a Mill deck, probably a combination of both. That's an old I kiss from uh, Origins, yeah. So he's gonna discard something. Gravedigger. Overkill, but I need the land. Simple as that. And I'm, I'm even willing to play the Gear Hulk uh, next turn, even if I don't draw the land. A 
ever after, yeah. First, I'm gonna fetch a something that gives me red so that I can play this one. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, something that gives me red. I can take that. Or the needle spires. Shadow that next turn, either unless I draw a mount. Play this first. Choose an artifact. Choose that one. Choose a creature. Choose that one. Choose an enchantment. Choose that one. Now that triggers. Uh, yeah, why not? Paid. Choose an artifact. It will be. Yeah, he will die anyway. Damn it. Um, yeah, stupid for me. It's a. Uh, the triggers go a bit weird. I thought that, uh, yeah, never mind. I thought that the flame shadow conjuring would uh, trigger first before anything else. But yeah, in case I get the stack a bit wrong there. Anyway, let's attack for a nine here. He blocks, so his creature dies anyways. He's down to three cards. I'm down to two, but I, I get some serious powerhouses here. So I guess Ooh, that's nice as well. Yeah, let's play this first. Uh, yep. I am going to play a red, of course, and double up the ability there, the trigger. The Uh, I think I'm gonna play this land. I'm 
to shoot away that guy. And then I'm gonna swing for 14. Uh, it was 3. I have to pay 3 here. And, oh no. No, he's dead. Uh, of course, he's got haste. Yeah, awesome. So, uh, yeah, that was a, a pretty fun game. I don't remember the level of the guy that he had, but I think he has a, a, a decent deck. I don't uh, think it was top tier, but it, uh, it, at least it, it, was a, it wasn't a Sun Tail Hawk deck, so it was uh, pretty okay. Um, yeah, in the beginning I was a bit mana screwed, but uh, usually when this deck uh, gets the lands uh, at then it gets even better and better. It's a more mid late game deck than early game as you saw. So on to the next game and I think I will be playing Ors of the Yeah, the Ors of deck. That's that's the one that's it's gonna be. Okay guys we're playing against uh, Mr. Tis who is a level 40 and that's way too much land, that's an easy mulligan. Uh, that's not that much land and pretty expensive cards here. I'm gonna try once more here. <sighs> this sucks even more. I don't wanna go down to 5. Not with this deck, this deck doesn't draw that many cards. So. But I think uh, this game will be a loss. I did through the filigree, so that's a good thing. And I can defend myself and in the early game a bit here. But it seems that we're playing some kind of mirror match here. That's uh, nice, at least we have a, a black source. Scout. Okay. Okay, some more removal here. Let's play the familiar here. If he blocks and dies, that's okay. See if he swings. Nope. Isolated chapel is nice. Now I do get my land, so that's already a good thing. Uh, let's play her, I guess. So it's uh, basically an ally horse of deck. here which is pretty nice as well and I'm thinking to Dexto maybe his little ally there but he's down to three cards so I don't think he can do massive damage to me right now and I still have the anguish on making uh, if he wants to do something uh, really annoying Okay, 
another trainer. Okay, we gain some life here. And with the Languish, the, the Gear Hulk will die as well. But then we can resurrect him with the Gear Smith right here, so that's pretty neat. I guess I will just swing with everything, blow up the field, and then I think I have time enough to get rid of that 4-6. Maybe I should get rid of that one first, because that's the annoying one. I can't play, uh, I can attack, languish, and that's a turn. Turn after the gear smith, because I got uh, not enough mana to do the two things here. Just do it like this, and then this. Just let, let's get rid of it. And okay, it can draw a card, but then that way I can I can still deal with a planeswalker in a direct way, and I'm not too scared of the shambling event for now. So and he's down to two, three cards now. If he plays a creature like he did, now I can blow it up with the Gear Hulk. Not this turn, but the turn after. No, that's nice too. for six. There we 
go. What the hell do you think that do again? get him dead if I don't play anything so. now if he survives another turn the gear hulk then I have uh, something to uh, back him up uh, not to back him up but to to get advantage of it if he if he's going to get removed but no, he's doing it already, so that's too bad. But I um, guess I'm comfortable with uh, sacking a land here. So the problem that he has now is that he, with allies, you need a strong port presence and he doesn't have it so okay so let's uh, suck a uh, place here can't deal with the shambling event so I hope I uh, get something good soon if I draw another land I can uh, awaken this choose an artifact let's take the flagship and a creature that's uh, this one of course and then we're gonna crew again A bit of a weird game here, but hey, it is what it is. Okay, so he's gonna hit me for four.
play so much removal and I only get yeah bit of a weird hand that I get stuck with now okay so let's just get rid of that one Now I'm just going to attack with a 4-5 because he has Vigilance. Now Liliana is uh, nice. Let's attack first. stupid I should have played the planeswalker first I'm gonna show you guys why play this one then take something back uh, yeah, let's take this back can get something else back then play this and then I should have of course crew this one and attack as well that so So there he goes, Mr. This level 40, uh, kind of a mirror match, but yeah, it was only a mirror match in colors because his deck works entirely different than mine. He plays more allies, and yeah, allies, it's well known when you, when you don't have the cards anymore in your hand and you don't have board presence, it can take a while then, but usually that's a good game. Anyway, on to the next one. Okay, fellows, we're playing for this final game against a level 1 uh, with a brand new deck that I've made. And yeah, you're seeing that right, I play a counter spell. Huh? So, uh, <laughs> uh, let's see, it's not a pretty good hand though. Although I do have the mana. I'm doubting, I'm doubting, I am gonna mulligan once. Yeah, this is a bit better with the telling time in my hand, I guess. So, yeah, it's just uh, a deck that I'm trying out. So it's a Grixis deck. Uh, not to be confused with the Grixis deck that I already have. Um, because that was a mill deck. Uh, it is a mill deck because I still have that one as well. But uh, this one is more uh, just straightforward control uh, build that I uh, created. And since we're playing against an aggro deck here. Uh, probably vehicles, maybe. So I'm gonna have a tough time, I guess. Uh, let's play that red source. Okay, so he hits me for four. 
already. Yeah, like every control against every control game, this is uh, probably the worst matchup. So well, let's take this into our hands. Now let's see what he does. I'm probably gonna kill that one off. But since that it's instant speed, I have the uh, the privilege of waiting <laughs> before killing it. Maybe he enchants it again. So. Okay, so he's gonna attack. Pause at a very late moment. Maybe he wanted to play something else to buff him up. Okay, so there he goes. I guess he's stuck on mana, so that's uh, a problem that I'm not gonna have, I guess, this game. Uh, nice, but nice and not that nice. I don't have much to resurrect, so let's just play this uh, care look here. This one most definitely to deal with this damn deck out. But I'm not gonna resurrect my Gear Hulk yet. Um, I guess I could do it because. Yeah, he doesn't offer much threat, so. But there is his land, so maybe now he can play something. Yep. Shoot that one away with the gear hook next door. So let's see if it doesn't matter what's your case. Let's get them right. Another land. So if I play another Aether Hub now, I can take something away from him that's cost uh, 6 mana in total, so not that bad. And since he only got 4 mana and he isn't playing another land, I guess I don't even need those. Ooh, that's a nice one to take. Yes, absolutely. Confiscation coop. All right. G 
give me that? Yes. But now I'm down to only lands, as you can see. So I hope this is enough. So. Anyway, if you guys like this deck, uh, yeah, I don't know yet if I'm gonna make an uh, in-depth video of this, uh, you know, deck deck gameplay video. So in the comments, uh, make sure to let me know if you like this and if you want to see more of it or not. Because I, I build a lot of decks, but not every deck uh, that I make uh, makes it into videos, you know. Uh, sometimes I make something, I play with it a while and I don't think it's good enough or not fun enough or whatever. And then it, I don't make any videos of it. So. And there's actually one of the key cards in this deck. but. So let's attack here. Yeah, let's play it, the tower. And the marsh, why not? So I get one, two, three. and one evolving wilds yeah that makes 13 lands yep <laughs> 13 lands from the 19 cards that are uh, that aren't in, in the deck anymore so I guess you could say that I'm flooded <laughs> trolling victor wow that's been a while since I saw that card What the hell is that magic card doing there at that land? Okay, so he's gone. Let's continue the game. What do you know? Another land. Awesome. So he's got a double block, he's got no choice. So. Why the hell he uh, blocks with three? I, I can't tell. Okay, let's play this now because I want to know what uh, what I get. Okay, an oat and two lands. But it doesn't matter. He's dead. So. Okay guys, that's it for this video, uh, like I said it's been a while that I made a mixing it up video, uh, I hope you guys liked it, uh, thumbs up if you do, subscribe if you haven't done it already, uh, let me know what you guys think, uh, this last uh, build of this Grixis uh, deck, do you want to see more of it or not, uh, if not tell me what, you, what colors that you would like to see or uh, an archetype or something that I can put my focus on that and after this maybe or maybe one other magic video depends on uh, what I'm gonna do but uh, there will also be some more Gwent videos in the near future of the beta uh, I've saw that uh, not many people watched uh, the Gwent videos it's not that popular yet uh, I don't know why that is uh, 
but we'll see I'll just keep posting some videos of it for now and in the long run if I see that it doesn't that it isn't successful I will probably quit it but with your guys feedback uh, I think people that saw the video liked it uh, maybe the audience is just not that big yet anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this video see you guys next time bye bye guys have a nice day